Welcome to lecture series on the course Foundation of Mathematics. This is lecture level and in this lecture we will be discussing Cartesian product of set. Now to define Cartesian product we need more than one set. So let's see the definition of Cartesian products. Given two sets A and B, the Cartesian product of A and B denoted by A cross B and is defined as the set of all the elements of the form a comma b ordered pair a comma b such that a the first element the first el the, the element position at the first place is coming from capital a and b is coming from capital b now here this uh, elements which are entered in the bracket bracket of a open bracket a comma b is called an ordered pair it is ordered in the sense that a comma b is not same as b comma a unless a is equal to b we see one example suppose i have a to be equal to the set containing three element one two three and suppose b is a set containing two alphabets a comma b then the set a cross b is a set formed by all the combination of the elements of the ordered pair uh, from a and b so the first element that we will we can have is 1 comma a the second element we would have is 1 comma b then 2 comma a 2 comma b 3 comma a and 3 comma b so you can note down over here that the number of elements in a cross b is 1 2 3 4 5 6 and similarly we can also define b cross a b cross a is going to be the first place in the ordered pair will be coming from the set b and so we have a comma 1 a comma 2 a comma 3 and b comma 1 b comma 2 b comma 3 these are the all possibilities in b cross a and you can see that the number of elements in b is uh, again 6 okay and uh, one thing uh, you can observe that this a cross b is not same as b cross a here because one comma a which is present in a a cross b is not present in b cross a now this definition of cartesian product of two sets we can generalize it for a finite set we call it as the finite cartesian product so cartesian product of finitely many sets say a i where i is varying from 1 to n for some natural number n uh, is defined as follow a1 cross a2 this dot 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 till uh, cross a n it's a set of all the elements of the form a1 comma a2 comma dot 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 comma a n this is again an ordered pair in this Cartesian product says that each of this AI is coming from capital AI so that is A1 is coming from A capital A1 A2 is coming from capital A2 and this goes on till small a n is coming from capital a n so the order is uh, important over here uh, this set is called as the Cartesian product of uh, uh, A1 A2 and this goes on till a n now we see the condition for the equality of two points in the uh, two points in the Cartesian product so when can we say that the point X in the Cartesian product a1 cross a2 dot 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 cross a n is equal to the point Y in the same Cartesian product so again if X is coming from this Cartesian product it has to be of this form it is the order it is an ordered pair so it will be of the form x1 x2 dot 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 till xn where each of these xi's are coming from ai same way y will also be of the same form y1 y2 dot 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 yn so these two elements x and y are equal if and only if each of this coordinates are same that is the first coordinate x1 is same as y1 over here which belongs to ai uh, the second coordinate x2 in y2 uh, and y2 should be same which belongs to a2 and this goes on till xn uh, is same as yn so that is same as saying for each i in the set 1 2 till n the property holds is that xi is equal to yi and therefore they are not same if we can find at least one element from this x1 x2 till xn and y1 y2 till uh, one element from y1 and y2 till yn uh, such that xi is not same as yi so that's a negation of this statement x is not equal to i if and only if there exists i in this sense that xi is not equal to yi 
Okay, now here is a question for you to think when we can say that A cross B is empty. So first let us see the definition or what, what do you mean by saying an element belongs to A cross B. So X belongs to A cross B if and only if there exists X1 in A and Y1 in B such that x is of the form x1 comma y1 so when do you say that this uh, x will never exist if you are not able to produce an element from a or b okay so if that means if this is not true so if no such x1 in a and y1 in B exist then uh, I mean X will uh, no such X will also exist then so this says this would be same as saying uh, if for uh, any x1 in a or x1 not in a or y1 not in b then x no such uh, x will exist so it is enough to say that at least one of this a and b will be empty and uh, 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 such that a cross b is empty so therefore either a is empty or b is empty uh, if a cross b is empty now given a non-empty set x and y how one can form a subset of x cross y so what would be the natural way of producing a subset of x cross y so very simple you just take a subset of a x and subset of y so if i take subset a of x and subset b of y then you can see that a cross b will be the set of all element from uh, of the form a comma b such that a is coming from a right which is actually a subset of x and uh, b is small b is coming from b which is also a subset of y so basically uh, this a cross b is also coming from x cross y so therefore this is a subset of x cross this is a subset of x cross y so this would be the natural way of forming the subset of x cross y you take each subset and then you take the Cartesian product of uh, the subsets in the particular x and y so let us see some examples with this x and y are given say consider x is equal to r and y is equal to r and a is a singleton one and b is equal to r draw a cross b on r so first we would define a cross b a cross b will be a set of all the element of the form a comma b where a is coming from a and b is coming from b but you know that a is simply uh, a singleton set one so all possible if i take any element from a then it's only choice for that a is to be equal to one so this would be an element of the form one comma say y where y is coming from b that is equal to r so this a cross b will be nothing but this set it would be a uh, it will be the set of all the elements of the form 1 comma y where y is in r and that's very easy uh, to plot uh, very easy to plot uh, one is fixed so one is fixed on x-axis one is fixed on x-axis right and so for any y when y is varying over the r the points that you will be getting one comma y will be the points on this line so it is a straight line in r2 which is parallel to which is parallel to x y axis and so this is same as your singleton one cross r similarly one can also uh, find out r cross 1 r cross 1 r cross singleton 1 is going to be so this point is 1 comma 0 this point is 0 comma 1 so this line is nothing but r cross singleton 1 
we would see one more example <coughs> suppose x and r is same as y a is a, a closed interval 0 comma infinity and b is an open interval minus 1 comma 1 draw a cross b on r so this is again see this should be a some rectangular region in uh, a cross b as both this a and b are interval provided a intersection b is not empty so you have 0 comma infinity so i mean that will vary over the x-axis so 0 is here and 0 comma infinity is this so i would take some other pen 0 comma infinity is this line and uh, you, you are drawing a cross b so your a is going to vary at the first place and b is going to be very on the second place in the ordered pair or the second coordinate on the in the ordered pair so b is varying over minus 1 comma 1 so suppose this is minus 1 and this is 1 the points are not included b is varying over this interval so for each point in this 0 comma infinity lying on x-axis and any point on this minus 1 comma 1 uh, the cross product uh, you will see that the uh, Cartesian product a cross b uh, will be the set of point lying in this region in this region uh, this region so this all this area except this line because uh, minus 1 and 1 is not included in b this uh, rectangular stretch starting from here this 0 is included because 0 is included in the closed interval 0 comma b so this rectangular stretch including this 0 dotted line denotes that minus 1 and 1 are not included is the region a cross b and this is the way you can plot a cross b in fact in this case you can also determine b cross a which is going to be a subset of r2 so that i would leave it uh, leave as an exercise now given a subset of x and subset of y we know that uh, a cross b is going to be a subset of a cross y x cross y but if you are given a subset of x cross y will it be of the form a cross b that's a question that's a question so are all subsets of x cross y are of the form a cross b for some a and b so the answer for this is uh, no uh, once you can produce a subset in x cross y okay which cannot be put in the form a cross b so for that i'll take x to be equal to r a trivial uh, case when x and y are uh, r so a cross b is going to be a subset of r2 and i would take a subset of x cross y as this i'll take l let l be the set of all the point of the form x cross y such that x uh, in in r2 such that x is equal to y so you can see that this is a straight line uh, passing to the origin this is a line passing to the origin okay it's it's it is of this form x is equal to y this line okay so this is a subset of r2 but the question is can you find the subset in r a and b says that this l can be written as a cross b as i have already answered it is not possible and this is a counter example for that so if uh, suppose i assume that I, I would prove this using contradiction suppose let l be equal to a cross b for some a and b lying in r suppose this is true okay i would get some contradiction i am expecting to get some contradiction which would say that uh, this will never be true so i mean uh, the negation of this will be true so uh, if this is true then we know that 1 comma 1 and 2 comma 2 belongs to l as 1 is equal to 1 and 2 is equal to 2 right which is equal to a cross b by our assumption and this implies that 1 comma 1 uh, belongs to a cross b and 2 comma 2 belongs to a cross b 
which in turn implies that if 1 comma 1 belongs to uh, a cross b this 1 should come from a and 1 should come from b and similarly here 2 should come from a and 2 should come from b so uh, that means I'm having one belongs to a I would take only two points which uh, is of my choice two belongs to B so that is same as saying one comma two by the definition of Cartesian product one comma two also should be a point of a cross B see either you can take two in a and one in one in B that will also give you a contradiction so it is the choice of uh, it is your choice um, but only thing uh, you should know that you should get the contradiction can you have a point of this form in a cross b so if that is the case then x is equal to y that is the first coordinate has to be same as second coordinate by the definition of a cross b so that should imply that one is equal to two which is never true which is contradiction and this contradiction proves that l will never be equal to a cross b for any a and b subset of r so therefore uh, you know uh, given a set in r a set in uh, r2 sometime we may not be able to put it as uh, a cross b where a is a subset of r and b is a subset of r okay <coughs> now here is a short exercise for you at the end of this i mean which you can solve uh, now so suppose you have two subsets of x and two subsets of y a and c are the subsets of x and b and d are the subsets of y then state whether the following is true or false so you are given a statement you just need to state whether uh, they are true or false if they are true you need to prove it and if they are false you need to give an counter example to show that they are not true it is not true so ultimately you have to uh, guess the uh, guess whether the given statement is true by understanding the concept now just look at this a intersection c uh, Cartesian product with B intersection D is equal to A cross B intersection C cross D first thing you need to check whether this uh, intersections that we have taken is uh, an valid intersection now A cross C is coming from X from the same set so we can define a intersection C B cross D is coming from Y so therefore we can define B intersection D and this is going to be a subset of X cross Y also you need to check whether this is a subset of X cross Y A cross B is a subset of uh, a cross b is a subset of x cross y and c cross d is also a subset of x cross y so therefore the intersection is very well defined now we need to show i mean we need to check whether this can be true now geometrically if you take any two sets you will see that there won't be any uh, there's no possibility that this will never be true and in fact i am going to show that this is true so that's first claim a intersection c cross b intersection d is equal to a cartesian with b intersection c cartesian with d i'm i'm claiming that this is true so let us prove this so let me take any elements lying in this set so this is of the form uh, this is a subset of x cross y so don't forget that so the element will be of the form x comma y belongs to a intersection c and b intersection d so that is same as saying this x is coming from a intersection c and y is coming from b intersection d by the definition of cartesian product and by the definition of intersection this says that x belongs to a and x belongs to c and here y belongs to b and y belongs to d now this n you can rearrange in a way you want you want to show that actually x belongs to uh, x comma y belongs to a cross b and x comma y also belongs to c cross d so for that you need to first show that x belongs to a and y belongs to b that is true from here so i'll take x belongs to a and y belongs to b together and from here x remaining x belongs to c and y belongs to d so what uh, this would mean what where will the order pair lie if x belongs to a and y belongs to b that is same as saying x comma y belongs to a cross b and this is same as saying x comma y belongs to c cross d i would continue here which says that x comma y is a common element of a cross b and c cross d so therefore x comma y belongs to a cross b intersection c cross d 
so this proves one way uh, we have proved that this is contained in this so this proves that a intersection c cross b intersection d is contained in a cross b intersection c cross d and in a similar way you can prove uh, you can one can prove that a cross b intersection c cross d is contained in a intersection b cross uh, a intersection c a intersection c yeah a intersection c cross b intersection d okay so that you know one can prove it it's exactly the reverse process of this what you'll do is that you'll take any element in uh, this a cross b intersection c cross d being this is a subset of x cross y the element will be of the form x comma y so that would mean uh, uh, that would be same as saying x comma y belongs to a intersection b and x comma y belongs to uh, c cross d okay and therefore x belongs to a and y belongs to b and uh, also x belongs to c and y belongs to d so you have you have com come to these steps now you arrange it in a way you want you arrange it actually in this way you put this in bracket and this in bracket and then that would imply x belongs to a intersection c and y belongs to b intersection d so similarly uh, prove that prove that a cross b intersection c cross d is a subset of a intersection c cross b intersection d okay now what about the same uh, idea for union i've just replaced intersection by union over here in this case will it going to work smoothly for union basically this is not true one can observe if one have an idea of uh, cartesian product which we have discussed i mean the geometrical idea of cartesian product which we have discussed before you know uh, you can very very easily prove that this is not true i would uh, discuss this in the next on the next page we first show that uh, this is not possible suppose i have a as a subset of this r and b a, i mean i would take x and y to be a simplest set x and r, r and r okay so if a is this complete uh, interval suppose this a is complete interval okay and this is a and similarly i would take uh, okay uh, i have c c is a subset of x c is a subset of x and b is a subset of y right so i'll take b over here as a subset of y so this is my b this open interval is my b and uh, i will denote c and d on x and y by red okay so suppose this is c this whole interval is c and this whole interval is d so first thing i would see the a cross b first thing i would see the cartesian product of a and b so that is going to be if you see the diagram I mean now in this case I have my I have not included the end point you can include the end point that's not a big issue in that case you have will have a, you won't have a, a dotted line and here sorry for the uh, not so neat diagram so this complete part is your a cross b now c cross 3 if you draw then it is going to be this region this so this complete part is your c cross d i mean uh, this actually is dotted okay if i if i include c and the if i include the close point then it is going to be this way uh, in a also i'm going to include the close point so that it is easier for us to observe so this is your a cross b and this is your c cross d right so now if one uh, look at the union of this a cross b and c cross d 
it is this part this red as well as black but if you look at the union of i mean the cross product of cartesian product of a union c and b union d in that case it's going to be something different because a union c is from here to here and b union d is going to from here to here so if i take the cross product of this part then it is going to be this whole region so you can see that this extra part is also included in the union now okay so therefore in fact the equality will not hold in fact you can prove that this part that is a cross b union c cross d is a subset of uh, a union c cross b union d but equality is definitely not true so for that one can produce an counter example uh, to show that they are not true so i would produce an example uh, over here i would take some simplest example not an interval i'll take a to be equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 b to be equal to 4 comma 5 x and y are uh, r c to be equal to singleton 1 and d to be equal to 2 comma 3 So first thing we need to uh, find out what is a cross b right is that what we want a cross uh, b okay i'll find this first a cross b union c cross d so first i would find a cross b that is 1 comma 4 then 1 comma 5 then 1 okay 2 comma 4 Two comma five, and you have three comma four and three comma five, right? So that's your A cross B. Then we would find what is C cross D. So C cross D is uh, C is simply one. So this is one comma two and one comma three. One comma three. and so the number of element in a cross b union c cross d will be simply the product of this that is 2 into 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 6 into 2 6 no the union so union is just adding so there will be eight elements so 1 comma 4 1 comma 5 2 comma 4 2 comma 5 3 comma 4 3 comma 5 and you add this to element 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 now this is your a cross b union c cross d now you want to compute on the left hand side a union c cross b union d so a union c from here is nothing but first you need to compute what is a union c so 1 comma 2 comma 3 and c is common so that won't be a part of a, i mean that won't be a separate part of a union c it's already included then you have to compute b union d that same as 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 right so now if you see the number of element in this you don't i may not be computing uh, this a cross c uh, a union c cross b union d because it's going to have 3 into 3 into 4 that is 12 elements so this have 12 elements one can very easily observe it's going to be just a product of the elements in a union c and b union d so you can list down this 12 elements and definitely this won't be same as uh, this because this has only 8 element and this has only 12 elements so there is no possibility that they can be equals and therefore you say that for this a cross b union c cross d is uh, not same as a union c cross uh, this is b union d right b union d okay so therefore the second statement is not true the first statement we have proved what about third one now if you observe this a union b and c union d uh, d in the third statement this a is lying in x and b is lying in y so if this x and y are say a subset of two different universal sets so suppose x is uh, simply a set of real number and y is a set of uh, uh, r2 
then in that case this a union b is not defined so this kind of statement is uh, simply given for you to get confused so here i can't compute unless and until this x and y are given to be same or uh, unless and until it is given that x and y are subset of the same universal set i cannot talk about this a union b and c union d so definitely this is not a valid statement for me as x and y is not mentioned uh, Uh, i mean uh, is not given to be equal or it their universal set is not mentioned to be equal so i cannot compute this right hand side even you can talk about left hand side uh, that's not a valid uh, term to be defined okay so this is all about the cartesian product there are some more uh, exercises mentioned on the principal text you can teach, uh, you can go through it so in the next session we would start up with the new chapter that is uh, function thank you for watching this video